Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neeraj and today's topic is Western Bloating. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first of all, we should know that uh, what is bloating. So bloating is just transfer of DNA RNA protein molecule onto the membrane. The procedure by which we transfer the these molecules on the membrane that is known as the bloating and this procedure is also utilized in this Western Bloating technique. Now, what is Western blotting? So, this is a technique which is used to detect the specific protein from the protein samples or tissue extracts. Means by using Western blotting, we can specifically identify a particular target protein from the sample of many proteins. And this Western blotting is sometimes also called as protein immunoblotting. Now, let's discuss about the procedure of Western blotting. So, the first step is extraction of protein means we have the extracted protein sample now. These proteins, these are separated by using a technique that is SDS polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis that is SDS page and with this technique, these proteins, they are separated according to their molecular weights. In the next step, these separated proteins, these are transferred to the membrane membrane may either be nylon or nitrocellulose so the next step is just transfer of these separated protein to the membrane after transfer to the membrane now the antibody which is specific to the target protein the target protein is that protein which we want to isolate or which we want to detect so the antibody which is specific to that target protein is now added to the membrane so as we know this antibody is specific to the target protein so it will only bind to the target protein if target protein is there then it will bind to that but if there is no target protein so there will be no binding between this antibody and protein so we are using the target specific antibody which is termed here as primary antibody and after the incubation we perform the washing step just to remove the unbound antibodies now in the next step we add secondary antibody which is conjugated with the enzyme and this secondary antibody it is specific to the primary antibody so it will only bind if primary antibody is there so after binding to this primary antibody now we can detect the presence of this secondary antibody which is conjugated or bounded by the enzyme so for the detection of this secondary antibody we you make the use of substrate means we add this substrate for this enzyme and this substrate is now converted by this enzyme into the colored product so the amount of colored or presence of colored tells us about the position of this secondary antibody and we know that this secondary antibody was specific to primary antibody so it will ultimately also indicate the position of sec primary antibody and the primary antibody was specific to target protein so we can directly get the position of the target protein so this is the procedure of this western bloating now what are the application of this western bloating that with this technique we can identify specific protein from the mixture of proteins as we clearly seen that we use a specific antibody which bind to the specific target protein so by this we can specifically identify specific protein from the complex mixture of proteins next that by using this technique we can also estimate the size and amount of protein present in the mixture and finally we can also use this technique to detect the defective proteins like for example in case of in case of the prion disease so this was all about the western bloating or immuno bloating so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much